It's time for the One Bar and Lepica Show, bringing you anything and everything Minnesota Vikings. Welcome to professional football. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepica Show. I am One Bar, and in today's episode, we are talking about guys that need to step up in 2020. We're going to do three of these episodes, one guy per episode. Uh, remember, subscribe to the One Bar and Lepica Show, like the videos. Also, remember, we joined the Purple Territory Radio Network and Vikings Territory, so check that out as well. But let's get into this hot, hot topic. Uh, and, and let me define this as far as stepping up. I'm not saying that they had a shitty year last year, or maybe it's a rookie coming into his second year, um, or maybe it's a free agent, but it's just guys that we are expecting to have a big, big year, hoping to have a big year to make the Vikings successful. So the number one guy, um, right guard, Drew Samia. Drew Samia needs to step up. And when I say Drew Samia needs to step up, I mean he needs to see the field. Uh, last year, it was a little bit of a question mark on why this guy didn't see the field. But when you really think about it, the answer is pretty damn easy. Um, Josh Klein was just pretty damn good. There is, uh, there's no way around that. Drew Samia, um, I think he, if he was to play as a rookie, he probably would have done okay. But Josh Klein gave us the best chance to win. Josh Klein had a hell of a year, great free agent signing. We know that we released him randomly and oddly, and um, his future is still up in the air, whether he's coming back or not. Signs point to him not coming back. But um, why rush a rookie out there if a guy like Josh Klein was performing? So that makes me sleep better at night as far as why he wasn't out there. Drew Samia, fourth-round pick. The Vikings actually traded up to get him. So you know they want him. You know that they feel that there's potential there. And really, Samia was one of the better guards in uh, all of college football that year. So him lasting in round four was was very surprising. But this is his year. Um, he's going to get out there. There's no doubt about it. And why am I so confident on that is they didn't address the guard position at all this year. Uh, yeah, they got some late round guys. Um, they, uh, if anything, they went backwards because they got rid of Josh Klein. They re-signed Dakota Dozier in free agency, and, uh, and like I said, draft not much of anything. So Drew Samia is going to need to come in, and uh, when I say step up, my step up for definition for Drew Samia is to come in and pretty much play on par like Josh Klein did, and uh, that's no small task because he's pretty much a first year guy considering he did not see the field last year until the last week against the Bears where he did okay. And um, for a rookie to come in to their first game and do okay on the offensive line, we'll take that. Uh, no issues there. But I think having Samia be on the bench for the full year last year, no pressure. He didn't come in week one and just screw up and we throw his ass on the bench and, and lose some confidence. He just uh, he got a little seasoning on the bench, got a little ready for this year. And uh, I think he comes in starting right guard. I think he's going to be hungry. I think he might be a little pissed off the fact that he didn't get to see the field, even though it, whether it was warranted or not. Um, and I think he's going to show a lot of teams that he was uh, uh, worthy of a lot higher pick than a fourth-round guy. So when we have guard right now, especially at right guard, we have Drew Samia, and we have much, much nothing else. Uh, Dakota Dozier is uh, is a backup guard right now. And like I said, we got some, we got some rookies. Um, that will be battling for those spots, but it's Drew Samia's spot. That is why he absolutely needs to step up because we do not have a backup plan. Um, maybe the backup plan is if, if Samia is off to a rough start, we look at bringing Josh Klein back. We shall see, but um, we cannot afford to go backwards at such a position that we already are struggling at. We know we got Pat Alpha on the left side, as of now anyways, um, and to have two very subpar guards would be uh, – demoralizing to this offense drew Samia needs to come in fire up pat elfline show this guy who's boss let him know that that we got a very good guard on the right side and drew Samia, we're counting on you you need to step up 